you just received a six-digit code to log into your bank account. It pops up on your phone, a string of numbers that feels like a secret handshake between you and your bank. For a moment you feel a sense of control, like you're the only one with the key to your digital vault. You enter it, see a green check mark, and feel secure. That satisfying moment when the app welcomes you in, it's easy to believe you're protected by the latest in digital security. After all, if your bank trusts this system, why shouldn't you? That code, your one-time password or OTP, feels like a digital bodyguard. It's supposed to stand between you and anyone trying to break in. For years, we've been told that this extra step is the ultimate shield, a simple but powerful way to keep our money and data safe. But this sense of safety is exactly what cybercriminals want you to feel. Today, in 2025, that confidence is a dangerous illusion. Hackers know that when you see that code, you let your guard down. They count on your trust in the system. While we built digital walls, attackers learned to fly over them. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, was once the gold standard. It was the answer to weak passwords and brute force attacks, but technology never stands still, and neither do the people trying to break it. But attackers now bypass these defenses with alarming ease. The six-digit code you trust could be the very thing a thief uses to steal everything. They don't need to guess your password anymore, they just need to trick you, or intercept a single message. Hackers have shifted from guessing passwords to targeting you, your trust, your habits, your willingness to follow instructions. They study your behavior, craft messages that look real, and wait for you to make a single mistake. Social engineering is now their most powerful weapon. They intercept your codes, trick you into handing them over, or steal them without you noticing. Sometimes, it's as simple as a fake website or a phone call from someone pretending to be your bank. Other times, it's malware quietly reading your messages in the background. The digital bodyguard you trusted is now compromised. This new era of cybercrime is subtle, effective, and often invisible. You might never know you've been targeted until it's too late. Until your accounts are drained or your identity is stolen. Attackers use convincing websites, phone calls, and even friendly voices to manipulate you. They create urgency, pressure you to act fast, and make you believe you're talking to someone you can trust. The tools they use are sophisticated, but their real power comes from exploiting human nature. The code itself is strong, but the process of receiving and entering it is full of human vulnerabilities. In 2025, those vulnerabilities are being targeted with precision and automation. Hackers use bots to send thousands of phishing messages at once, hoping just one person will slip up. Our best defense has become a potential liability. The game has changed, and so must our approach to security. It's time to recognize that technology alone isn't enough. We need to stay alert, question what we see, and understand that the real target isn't just our devices, it's us. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, is a security process that requires you to provide two different credentials before you can access your account. Typically, this means entering your password and then confirming your identity with something else, like a unique code sent to your phone or generated by an app. The goal is to add an extra layer of protection, making it much harder for someone to break in, even if they know your password. The idea is simple. Even if a hacker manages to steal your password, they still can't get into your account unless they also have access to your phone or your second authentication method. This extra step is supposed to keep your information safe from cybercriminals. SMS-based one-time passwords or OTPs quickly became popular because they're easy to use and don't require any special setup. You just get a text message with a code and you're in. For those wanting more security, authenticator apps and hardware security keys offer alternatives. These methods generate codes on your device or require a physical key, making them harder to intercept. But despite these advances, the fortress of 2FA is starting to crumble. The problem isn't with the concept itself. It's that criminals have found ways to exploit the weakest links in the system, often targeting the human element. For example, SMS messages can be intercepted or redirected by hackers using sophisticated tools, allowing them to steal your codes without you even knowing. Malware can infect your devices and steal authenticator codes as soon as they appear, bypassing the security you thought you had. But perhaps the biggest vulnerability is human error. People can be tricked by phishing websites or social engineering scams into handing over their codes, thinking they're helping a legitimate service. Attackers don't always need to break complex encryption. They just need to convince you to give up your information willingly, often by pretending to be someone you trust. SIM swapping is another growing threat. Criminals can hijack your phone number by tricking your carrier, then receive your OTPs and take over your accounts. 
even app-based authenticators aren't immune. Phishing attacks and malware can still compromise these methods, putting your accounts at risk. The reality is, our defenses haven't kept up with the rapidly evolving threats. Cyber criminals are always finding new ways to bypass security measures. In many ways, we're fighting tomorrow's cyber attacks with yesterday's tools, and unless we adapt, 2FA will continue to fall short of its promise. The biggest vulnerability in any security system isn't the software, the hardware, or even the network. It's the person using it, the human element, with all its habits, emotions, and moments of distraction. Cyber criminals know this, and they exploit it ruthlessly with a technique called real-time phishing. They create fake login pages that are nearly indistinguishable from the real thing, your bank, your email provider, or even your workplace portal. When you enter your username and password, those details are instantly captured and sent straight to the attacker. The attacker then uses your credentials to log into the real site, which triggers a one-time password, or OTP, to be sent to your phone. The fake site, still pretending to be legitimate, prompts you to enter that code, so trusting the process you do. With both your password and the OTP, the attacker now has everything needed to access your account in real time, often before you even realize what's happened. What's even more alarming is that this entire process is now automated. Phishing kits, pre-packaged software tools, let attackers set up hundreds or even thousands of fake sites in minutes, targeting victims on a massive scale. Social engineering is the secret weapon here. These fake sites and emails are designed to create a sense of urgency or fear, maybe a warning that your account will be suspended or that you've missed an important payment. These psychological tricks are powerful. They bypass your rational thinking, making you act quickly without stopping to question what's really happening. In the heat of the moment, when you're stressed or distracted, the human mind becomes the weakest link in the security chain. Automation has made these attacks not only more frequent, but also more sophisticated and devastatingly effective. Attackers can now target thousands of people at once with minimal effort. Real-time phishing turns your trust, your willingness to believe what you see online, into the attacker's greatest weapon. Even the most careful, tech-savvy user can be caught off guard by these tactics. All it takes is a single moment of inattention. Today, the line between real and fake has never been thinner. Staying vigilant is more important than ever, because the next phishing attempt could be just one click away. AI has supercharged social engineering. Attackers use AI voice clones to impersonate your boss, a family member, or your bank. A familiar voice calls, urgently asking for a verification code. You comply, never realizing it's a scam. AI chatbots now mimic customer support, guiding you through security checks that steal your credentials and OTPs. These bots can handle thousands of conversations at once, making scams scalable and personal. They use your name, recent purchases, and other details to build trust. The result highly convincing interactive attacks. In 2025, you're not just fighting human scammers. You're up against intelligent machines. The age of AI-driven deception is here. SIM swapping is a direct way to defeat SMS-based 2FA. Attackers trick your mobile provider into transferring your number to a SIM card they control. They use personal info from data breaches or pay off insiders. Suddenly, your phone loses service and the attacker receives your OTPs. They reset your passwords, lock you out, and drain your accounts. The public telephone network is a weak link in security. A few stolen details can give criminals control over your digital life. Security experts have warned for years, SMS-based 2FA is not secure. It's a house built on sand and the tide is rising. Don't trust your phone number as your last line of defense. Some attackers skip the tricks and go straight for your devices with malware. Keyloggers record every keystroke, stealing usernames and passwords. Remote access trojans give attackers full control, seeing your screen, files, even your camera. Malware on smartphones can intercept SMS OTPs or read authenticator codes. Malicious apps disguised as games or utilities request dangerous permissions. Some malware targets authenticator apps directly, taking screenshots or reading codes. The fight against malware is a constant arms race. Only download apps from official stores and keep your software updated. One careless click can undermine all your security. Your device's security is only as strong as your caution. Browser sync is convenient, but risky. If an attacker gets your Google or Microsoft account, they can sync your saved passwords to their own device. Suddenly they have access to dozens of your accounts. Even 2FA can be bypassed if codes are sent to your compromised email. Your main email account is the master key to your digital life. A single breach can trigger a cascade of compromises. Convenience creates a single point of failure. Secure your central accounts with the strongest protections available. What makes life easier for you can make it easier for attackers too. Don't let convenience become your Achilles heel.
Protect your core accounts above all else. Reverse proxy attacks are the most sophisticated way to bypass 2FA. The attacker sits between you and the real website, relaying your information. You enter your credentials and OTP on a fake site. The attacker logs in as you and captures your session cookie. With this cookie, they access your account directly, no password or OTP needed. Tools like Evil Jinx 2 automate this process, making it accessible to more criminals. Always check the URL before entering sensitive info. Even a single wrong letter can mean you're on a phishing site. Even perfect habits can be undone by a clever trick. Stay vigilant. Technology alone can't protect you. The threat is always evolving. To stay safe, adapt your security habits. Use hardware-based 2FA, like a YubiKey, for your most important accounts. Physical security keys can't be phished or intercepted online. Use a reputable password manager to create and store unique passwords. Password managers help defend against phishing by only filling credentials on legitimate sites. Be cautious with app permissions, especially on your phone. Only install apps from official stores and deny unnecessary permissions. Never share your OTP with anyone. No legitimate company will ever ask. Treat any unsolicited request for codes as a scam. Verify suspicious messages through trusted channels. Open your bank's website manually. Never click links in emails or texts. In 2025, vigilance is your best defense. Security isn't a one-time fix. It's a mindset. Stay alert. Stay skeptical and stay ahead.